Fido, it's Maria. Salvatore gave me your number. Well, I found it in his address book, but whatever. You're his new doggy, right? Well, I want to go walking. I'll expect you over here. Tony, how are you, my boy? You look a little thin. Isn't your mama feeding you right? Oh, I'm good, Mr. Leone. Listen, these union guys, they're getting me pissed. It looks like some of them are starting to see things my way, but we just need to turn up the heat on some of the less than receptive union big shots. You know what I'm talking about? in the shower. Easy, Geronimo. Most laptops these days are completely waterproof and will function fine in the shower. Next caller. Hey, this is Jerome. I've got a real problem, man. I played Cavern of Sorrow online for like 12 hours a day and my avatar came out. I, I don't know what to do. It was right after a mission of Gas Canyon. I'm not prejudiced or anything. It, it's just not me. <laughs> oh, that's tricky. Yeah, I don't know what to suggest. We don't really have a cyber closet. Yeah, yes, we do. It's called the web. Yeah. <laughs> Who's on the box? Hi, this is Denise, and I'm a first-time caller. I'll tell you what, I'm really bored of the internet. It's a big bully. It's about time someone set up to it. It's booning on live. The internet is beautiful. I've met some amazing people in and out of prison online, and now I never have to support my local businesses because I can get my cat litter online. Yes, but it's booning live. The internet is progress. It'll keep growing until we're all dead or too fast to care. In my day, if I wanted anonymous sex, I'd go to a singles bar or a car key party. But now it's all in the chat room. Uh, Janice, you gotta calm down or I'm gonna have to frag you. <laughs> well, what happens when they can hack people? How do I know my husband is real anymore? I'm gonna have to... Oh, crazy, man. I don't want Janice, no more to Calm down. Wait just to make my... Oh, she's gone. Well, I think that's all we got time for. Hey, stay plugged in and don't forget to check out http colon forward slash forward slash www.electronzoneradio.com. All right, surf safe out there, everybody. We're out of here. Your mother's a sea prom. Whoa, at least you can program me through that tosser. That's the show that takes typing with one hand to a whole new level. This portion of LCFR is brought to you by Salivex. Tastes like your own saliva. Don't hold your breath. Breathing World is next. If you throw away a soda can, you waste more energy than a billion of the world's poor people. What are you doing? Are you crazy? On a TV show, a million children will starve to death. Science has proven that people didn't eat animals until a few years ago. And if we continue to eat animals, the aborigine people of the rainforest will die. The entire world could... From now on, you do as you're told. Our first guest has done more to help the planet than like anyone. He's Crow, C-R-O-W. You're looking good. Thanks, love. It's your new yoga. Total enlightenment's quite a trip. Yeah, nobody would think you used to attend a private boarding school, then you were a street urchin in London, then a sex Hey, Hey, I'm still rock and roll, baby, and I'm also caring. The world, man, it breaks my heart. And trust me, Crow has a big heart. Great. We had two more payments on so... that car. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Bad boy got From now on, you do as you're told. What I told you, Malik? My pet. You're late, typical man. I want to go shopping and you're driving. So help me, I'm going to have some fun today, even if it kills you. I just need to finish getting ready. Ah, eh, screw it, I'm gorgeous. Come on, Tony. Pinched. And you, you need to ride that horse in the opposite direction and don't look back. I mean, Catherine, what, what are your long-term plans, huh? Well, first I want to have more children, and I really want to retire in Vice City. <laughs> I don't mean how many hams you got in the oven or how much lard you put in the cheesecake. I'm talking about 
ending up in the big oven down below. About the fire. Wait here, sexy. I won't be who created Darwin? Well, but I just wanted to see what it looked like in the daylight. Take your goddamn hands off me. Let's get out of here. Christmas. It's about more than the pedophile in the red suit and the midgets, though sometimes we do get confused with all the, these cartoon specials on the TV. Now look, life ain't a cartoon. And it sure as hell in a handbasket ain't no game. It's serious, and it's meant to be miserable. Catherine. Catherine, honey, listen to me. You got some work. This outfit's fine, but I'm going to need to pick up some more stuff. Coming up next on Heartland Values with Nurse Bob. I would go three or four times a week. My friends thought I was really into water slides or theme parks. I'm so ashamed. Now, Chris, when you look at man playing golf, what are you thinking, boy? Sticking that ball in the green, huh? Huh? I mean, which bit do you enjoy, the game or the shower afterwards? It's time to get some value. Who made you God? Why are you acting like the supreme being? You better pray, dipshit, and I'm talking about right now. Because otherwise, you are going to burn it. Look, I, I've got some fire lighters here right now. I've got some I've got some road flares and a bottle of paraffin. You want me to set you on fire, Chris, do you? Do you, boy? You ever seen any movies about being non boy Keep the engine running. You better start Come on, Maria, no more stealing. Oh, hush, Tony, baby. That was all a misunderstanding back there. I'm telling you, I don't have anything hidden up there. Get the hell off of me! Stop! Thief! Get me back to my place! Yeah, Mike's been body training for a while now. Boy, he really gets mad sometimes. Well, Mikey, what did you do? In your pants again? Shut up, bitch! Jesus, cut me some slack! He hides in his room, the home theater room. He doesn't eat. Everywhere. He's constantly touching himself. Why? Like you're 33. I know. I know it. Help me fix it, Nurse Bob. Well, you're just gonna have to. Tony, honey, I had a great time today. Maybe you can drop by later and we can have some more fun. See you later, handsome. One of Salvatore's dogs is bringing me right over. Oh, he's a charmer. Maybe too thin, though. Yeah. <laughs> so, listen, I want a party, but the cupboard is bare. You got some sugar? Pure cane, huh? Great. Ciao. Come on, Tony, I got places I need to be. Moses up a gum tree without... Let's move it. My dealer won't hang around all day. A stitch in time saves nine. Stitches being the important word. Look. I mean, Luke. Luke. Luke, you know, no matter how mad you get, a man should never, ever hit a woman in public. There they are. Just pull in behind them. There's the good boy. You're a light here, sitting on I ain't going anywhere with you. Who the hell do you think you are? Try. Tony! Oh, shit. Person, and I should die. You know what? Before we go, I just want to tell you a little story. When life comes knocking, you better answer the door. Remember that, or you're going to be burning. I'm going to beat you black and blue.
want to come up for a uh, coffee or something? I'll pass. You sure? Call me. Dear Tony, I've put myself up as the first prize in a street race. If Salvatore finds out about this, we're both gonna be in big trouble. So you better come and save my ass. Then maybe it'll belong to you. Forever yours, Maria. Not about your mother-in-law, but let's move on now. Now, and, and you keep hitting the buffet. I mean, <laughs> I like to eat, but I ain't fat. If I can do it, so can you. Hey, Fix it, girl! Tell me now, tell me, what is cheating? Well, when a monogamous couple decide no, 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 that... Shut up. Let me help you here. It's simple. If the horse is out of the stable, it's time for some hay. And you, you need to ride that horse in the opposite direction and don't look back. I mean, Captain, what, what are your long-term plans? Huh? Well, first I want to have more children, and I really want to retire by city. I don't mean how many hams you got in the oven or how much lard you put in the cheesecake. I'm talking about ending up in the big oven down below. About the fiery cheesecake of hell. Do you know who created Darwin? Well, it wasn't a monkey. Christmas is about more than the pedophile in the red suit and the midget, though sometimes we do get confused with all the, these cartoon specials on the TV. Now look, life ain't a cartoon. And it sure as hell in a handbasket ain't no game. It's serious, and it's meant to be miserable. Catherine, Catherine, honey, listen to me. You've got some work to do. All right, we'll be right back after this. Go on, girl. Coming up next on Heartland Values with Nurse Bob. I would go three or four times a week. My friends thought I was really into water slides or theme parks. I'm so ashamed. Now, Chris, when you look at men playing golf, what are you thinking, boy? Sticking that ball in the green, huh? Huh? I mean, which bit do you enjoy, the game or the shower afterwards? It's time to get some value. Who made you God? Why are you acting like the supreme being? You better break dipshit, and I'm talking about right now. Because otherwise, you are going to burn. Look, I, I've got some fire lighters here right now. I've got some, I've got some road flares and a bottle of paraffin. You want me to set you on fire, Chris, do you? Do you, boy? You ever seen any movies about Vietnam, boy? You ever seen any? You better start thinking and stop stinking. For the collector who has everything, now you can own a piece of our heritage that really means something. It's a taste of history with old horsey. A genuine replica authentic working prohibition era domestic use at bath of gin steel. Relive the human entrepreneurial spirit and tradition of the glory days with a beverage that built a nation. Whether it's ruckus juice, alley bourbon, skull cracker, white lightning, or mama's medicine, no matter what you call it, the old horsey bath of gin still never ceases to delight. With old horsey, alcohol is the solution in more ways than one. You can not only take the pain away of daily life, but also put it to all kinds of other soluble uses. Cleaning cuts, removing paint, Molotov cocktails, bleaching hair, removing sight, cleaning the toilet. Come on, Maria, let's go. Well, finally, <laughs> Mr. Tough Guy makes his move. Look, Maria, you're Salvatore's girl. I'm my own girl. You're such a goddamn square. Come on, Wayne, let's party. What have you taken now? Nothing. What was it this time, huh? Smack, downers, lewds, uh, a little too much trumpet, not enough diazepam, a little too much sideways, not Shut enough up. Shut up, Tony! Who did this to you? No one. Who was it? This guy I'm seeing, Wayne. Oh, some guy you're seeing. You're my boss's girl! Shh, come on, Tony, don't be so square. 
Besides, he gets me this great speed, you know? A girl needs a lift. Plus, it makes you really wild in bed. Shut up! Why'd he do this to you, this dead prick, Wayne? I told him I was in love with somebody else. I told him about me and you, Tony, and then he hit there me. There is no you and me. Christ, you're killing me. Where is this Wayne? He deals at a bar down in Chinatown. I love you, Tony Cipriani. Die in American stereotypes, you know. Laser like a fire. You are lighting my desire. Get in my drawers, stank breath. I need some romance. If the poetry's not working, try the sauce. Chateau de Buff. Oh, that's continental. The continental, sophisticated, and oh so European way to get her shit face with a sorry in the morning. Good morning, baby. What's your name? Grab a bottle of Chateau de Buff. It's the distillation of civilization. Molto, molto, molto adagio! Are you Wayne? Who wants to know? I'm a friend of Maria's. Beating up on women, get your motor running, huh? That bitch had it coming! Yeah? Well now, so do you. I Get want him. to kill the man with a pool cue. Uh, I'm gonna kick your head in. Do that again, sweetie. I'm gonna make you suffer. Check in a bit. But right now, let's meet Catherine. Now, she blames herself because her marriage isn't working. And what happened? I came home and I found other women in my bed. Well, how did you find them? They were right in the kitchen. What you saw. And don't be afraid to get graphic. He was on the kitchen counter and there were two of them. Oh, they were just glistening. They were going at it. Both so sweaty. Ugh! I blame myself. Oh, please help me fix it, Nurse Bob. Oh, you better bet your best and brightest. Oh, oh, I've had an accident. Watch it. Your mouth talking, but why ain't your feet walking? What does your heart tell you? It's what I'm telling you. Now, my, my patented definition of insanity is doing something repeatedly and expecting different results. Right? Either that or, or fantasizing about your mother-in-law, but let, let's move on now. Now, and, and you keep hitting the buffet. I mean, <laughs> I like to eat, but I ain't fat. If I can do it, so can you. Fix it, girl! Tell me now, tell me, what is cheating? Well, when a monogamous couple decides that... Shut up, let me help you here. Come on, tough guy! It's... with you. It's nothing, baby. It's all good. Get up, you crazy bitch. What have you taken now? Taken now? Nothing much, you know, a couple of a couple of greens, a couple of heavy reds. Oh, and these grape pills I'm getting from Holland now. Pure as hell. I feel great. No, I don't. I need a zap and I'll be fine. They're here somewhere. What's a zap? A zap? You don't know what a zap is? Oh, Tony, you are so square. Oh Come God. on, make sense. I need a zap, Tony. I'm gonna die. I felt like this before. I've OD'd. 
Get me a zap, Tony! I left him at the diner at Callahan Point! Well, don't just sit there, then. Come on! Emotions can be suppressed by cold showers. How, how in the hell are they supposed to grow up well adjusted? Next caller here on Heartland Values with Nurse Bob. Let's fix it. Hi, Nurse Bob. My name is Luke. My wife and I are fighting because I play Exorbio all the time. I love One-Eyed Monster War. Do you have any advice? Ooh, well, what have we got here? Moses up a gum tree without a ladder. Why have you brought me here? My stuff isn't in here. This is where Wayne used to hang out. I remember. I got some zap stashed in Hepburn Heights. Hey, it's that big Kill Maria! Fuck and that's the fuck who killed Wayne! Rise the wound, Luke. A stitch in time saves nine. Stitches being the important word. Listen. I mean, Luke. Luke. Luke, you know, no matter how mad you get, a man should never, ever hit a woman in public. You got trouble with wife, don't tell it to me. Tell the executive producer in the sky, he's gonna cancel your shit. You need to save yourself. I'm a terrible person, and I should die. You know what, before we go, I just want to tell you a little story. When life comes knocking, you better answer the door. Remember that, or you're gonna be burning for eternity before you know it. Well, that's all we have time I for. I am the zap behind the trash can. With the help of my newest book, 15 Minutes to Domestic Heaven. Oh, and if you're trying to lose weight, I'm. Yes, the been taken. Now remember what my daddy said. Don't you tell nobody about me coming in here at night. That's right. Sweep it under the carpet. We'll see you next time. That was Heartland Values with Nurse Bob, showing why I've foreign countries hate us. LCFR. More talk. Wait, I remember. Computer that smells happy or sad based on the website you visit. Plus, it's a look into the virtual marriage intimacy therapy remedy future of relationships with the virtual reality club. And loving yourself digitally. Is cyber sex the future? And how to find out. Plus, a woman whose love life has gone space age. I'm a Salvatore's wife. I'm a Salvatore. Crying out loud, Maria. Yeah, I am going to blow my source code all over your face. Plus, tossers unite with the technical operating system 3.0. But self-appointed experts like Steve predict millions of Americans will toss off and switch to being a fruit head, which I'd love to see. The fruit operating system is so much classier. What kind of driver are you? That took ages. I could have OD'd. I'm a mess. I'm gonna need a new wardrobe, a little nip and tuck to work. Honey, have you got some money? Uh, not really. Well, what the hell have you been coming on to me for? I'm Salvatore's girl. He's loaded. Don't you ever hit on me again. This strike will continue until I get some assurances from this city. Mafiosi thinking they can run the union can think again. Listen to this shit. All oh, of them scare me. I got bigger balls than all of them. I should call a hit on this bitch. She's taking me for a ride. Well, two can play at that game. Tony, you're gonna deliver a message for me.
the bold truth, just like an eagle. Now, prepare to get your juices flowing inappropriately with blood-curdling chef Richard Goblin. It's Cock of All. It's Cock of All with your host, Richard Goblin. Yes, yes, thank you for the clapping. Okay, cook out, everybody. Hello, everybody, to the moon, all you American out there on the airwaves of hell. I am Richard Gobelin. I am chef, okay? Maybe you don't know what a chef is. He's like... Wood Ferry Station and step on it. You said it. Hey, take it easy. We're not in a race. Driver, who the hell are you? Shut up. From now on, you do exactly what Salvatore Leone tells you to. Capiche? I, I refuse to be scared by this. Well, we'll see. Please, you'll kill us both. I'll do whatever you want. And don't forget our little agreement, lady. You ungrateful bitch! I'll knock you into next week if I hear another word from you. Oh, that's right, big dick. What are you gonna do? Hit me? Why I oughta? That's the only time you touch me these days. Why the fuck would I want to touch you? I don't like you's goods. You revolt me. Me? Revolt you? What? Yeah, revolt. Oh please. You know what? My daddy was right when he said you were nothing but a fat Yeah, wall. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Tony. I want my money, old man. Get out of here, you tramp. Hey, Anthony, you're an angel of mercy. Women, what are you gonna do about them, huh? Luckily, I can trust someone in my life. You, Tony. You're very important to me. Did I ever tell you that? You can't even get it up, you old bastard. Not for you! I don't like using public toilets, you slut. Very important. So listen, it's you and me now. We're in charge. We got those fools on the run. How would you know? You're more interested in hanging out with men. 
And you're only happy when you got your drawers around your ankles and your back against the wall. Christ, I met rabbits who like to fuck less than you. So listen, fuck this is you, important. Fuck you, Salvatore Leone, you no-dick, bullying, wife-beating piece of a Fuck me! Dick. Fuck you! In fact, everyone has! Anyway, I got a shipment of you-know-what coming in. This is gonna put us, you and me, on the map big time. Everything should run smooth. I just need someone, someone I trust, to take care of things for me. All right, Tony? I'll talk to you later. And another thing. I never met a girl with hydraulic underwear. It amazes me. Christ, why did I marry her? I was looking for a tramp. I married a slut. I must have really pissed someone off in my past life. I'll tell you that much. Unless you are invading. Mm -hmm. I bet you make your man with the old ring. You ring the Barbarians? What? Mm -hmm. Je suis désolé, madame, mais you are a barbarian. Nobody called Rishra Gugler a barbarian. Rien du tout pas. You Americans, you are all the same. Ce sont tous les mêmes. How little you know. La vraie culture of real culture of le monde. When we join with the Native Americans to defend against the British, you forget this. You American, you are all the same, huh? Nobody sit down for dinner anymore. That's because, hey, listen, listen to Richard, okay? I would rather eat contents of my toilet bowl after a fat man with hemorrhoids who ate curry than eat the shit most Americans serve. Who is on my phone now? Hi, my name is Deidre. Wait, Dreary, would you rather eat the shit most Americans serve or the shit out of the toilet bowl? Excuse me? You heard me. I is the kind of woman who would date a vegetarian. Yeah, of course. I'm not vegetarian. Vegetarian meat? So-called meat-free meat? Okay, so listen, this is like a man who eats a watermelon out in the sun so it feels like a woman. Why not make love to a woman? You're not Greek. What is it with the watermelon? I'm a married woman. I've got three kids. Kids? Kids? Are you a goat, maybe? I eat goat. Hmm? No, on the grass, Billy. Bah. Maybe you eat carpet? You are insane and offensive. I just wanted to ask a question about the ethical way to... supposed to be here hours ago. Quit whining, Miguel. You got the stuff. Hey, I'm a busy man, Tony. Next time I'll find another buyer. Yeah, I doubt you find anybody else who pays what we do. <laughs> I like you, Tony. You got big balls, like a bull. You got our money? Sure. What? You greaseball fuck! Oh, come on and touch me, asshole! Tender. Couple beers right here. You better get that 40 ounce Marlick away from me. I need some yeah, real rum. No, Getting laid is never easy, but it just got a little easier. It's Chateau de Bas, the continental, sophisticated, and oh so European way to get her shit faced and sorry in the morning. Oh, I feel like I'm in Europe. Got some cheese for this shit? It's a perfect companion to take it out instantly. Grab a bottle, smell the cold, sniff the contents, and get instantly surprised. Urges sophistication and nuance with complex and satisfying results. Oh, this wine's delicious. Let's call it like some food. Chateau de Buffalo. Easy now. LCFR. It's community radio. Real syndicated content. Welcome back in Yambaro Accord. You're on Cook and Burn with me, Rishago Burn. 
putting the culture back into your brain. Speak. Oh, Jakey, I'm so pissed at you. What are you talking to? Your trousers. You gotta stop killing all these animals, man. It's really bad karma. Karma. What is karma? Oh, a bad song, maybe? Hmm? I mean, it's a major buzzkill listening to you slaughter all these animals. What's wrong with teaching people how to cook, like pizza or salad? Something instead of killing these poor, cute little animals. Hey, you know, out. thanks for your very you interesting point of view. No, you me. big girl. I mean, I ask, which come first, the egg or the chicken? You matter very little, okay? They both taste nice after a cockfight. Pathetic! But since you ask, you want old Goblin to cook you a pizza? Here it is! Eyeball and perineum calzone. Mm. Delicious! First, take a large mammal, say a cow or a rhino. Then take the eyeballs and the perineum and slice them up. Okay, and then maybe you kill the mammal. That is up to you. Then you put the whole thing in a calzone, et voila, magnifique! I feel I can see what animal once saw, feel what its perineum once felt. It's really amazing, it's really fresh and hearty. The children, they will...